Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Monday, March 23rd, and it's 10.42 a.m. I was just do checking on some comments, and someone said, video and link removed. I thought, what? Video and link? Video and link removed? Well, I thought, oh, maybe he means in the description box, the link. I left. So I come up here to the description box and this is just a video on how easy it is to kill a virus. And it was just some stuff you can do at home, easy stuff. And sure enough, this video has been removed. It says, this video has been removed for violating YouTube's community guidelines. Whoa. Wait. Hello, brothers they, and sisters in Christ. You shut me up. <clears throat> Excuse me. They don't want you to do these simple little things. Uh, well, it was about heat. Um, how easy it is to kill the virus with heat. You put the hair dryer on low to start with. You take a bottle, a squirt bottle, in case your skin starts feeling so hot you think, I can't stand this. And honestly, I don't remember how long it was, but I want to say five minutes that you do this. I say do it as long as you can stand it, up to five minutes. You're blow drying your up. You want your nostrils and your mouth hot that's where coming in oh how long have you heard drink hot tea sip on hot tea a doctor on here is telling people to sip hot drinks hot soup or maybe it was even on here they yeah she gave in the beginning it's a gal talking and she's saying the video you can't no longer watch drink hot uh, liquids, hot soup, even hot water, sip on it. Um, I'm thinking it said to take a sip of hot water as hot as you can and like gargle with it every 20 minutes. Now, boy, uh, you'd have to be really diligent and hopefully have someone in your household that's not too sick to get up every 20 minutes but if you only had to do that a couple days and even though it might make you feel worse at first because you keep getting up and you're not really resting if you even did it once an hour gargle and also it said use an antiseptic I remember this like they said apple cider vinegar um, I guess Listerine, uh, the kind that says kills germs, uh, if you can get that, or, oh, Lord, help me. I'm thinking hydrogen peroxide watered down. Put maybe one part hydrogen peroxide to three parts water. Uh, you know, you could do one ounce and three ounces of water. And gargle it uh, much as you can once a day because hydrogen peroxide can kill now may maybe they violated the guidelines because they didn't say uh, I am NOT a medical professional I should have started with this I even though I am an RN and I do know that hydrogen peroxide can kill healthy cells as well as bad ones it's kind of like an antibiotic you need to take a probiotic while you're on an antibiotic so because it's going to be killing off good cells which is why an antibiotic can give you diarrhea your gut needs healthy cells healthy bacteria to keep it working right so you can get some people get diarrhea because their good cells are being killed off 
along with the bad ones. So that's why I would not do that more than once a day. You could gargle with Listerine a few times a day. Um, read the bottle, see if it says anything different. Okay, because I don't use that product. I'm not sure what it says. Okay, so I am not a doctor and I cannot give you medical advice. I can only pass on what others have done and found relief from. Now, one of our subscribers suggested if you get this or cold or flu in the future, if we have a future, if Jesus doesn't come to rapture us right away, uh, make a bowl full of, uh, boil some water, pour it into some kind of, uh, or you could just use the pan, really, just don't touch it. You know, take it off of the hot pad, hot pads, put it on another hot pad on the table, put a towel over it, and, um, in one comment, he put salt. You put salt in it. Well, I've always heard if you put Vicks Vapor Rub or an essential oil, there are some essential oils. Now, I am not an essential oil expert. I know Thieves is good. Somebody recommended that to me. My daughter had given me some of that. There's also eucalyptus. Somebody else could leave in the comments which essential oils if you don't have a diffuser which funny thing y'all somehow from the fourth floor to the sixth floor my diffuser cord went missing now how whoever packed it it couldn't have been me because i would have unplugged it from the wall or power strip i would have wrapped that cord around it and taped it or fixed it where it would, you know, where, I wouldn't have unplugged it. It would have been packed with the cord. Now, why would the cord be taken out and separated from the diffuser? That just beats the heck out of me. I just tell you what, I can't diffuse any of my essential oils right now. But as soon as I can, I'm going to get another diffuser. But in the meanwhile, you could boil some water, put it on the table. I could put my stuff in it, throw a towel over my head, and breathe in the vapors until the steam is all gone and it's no longer doing anything for you. If you can tolerate it. If you have to take the towel off for a minute, if the water's too hot, then do so. Don't hurt yourself. All right, so basically, um, the lady was telling about the hot things, and then the man was talking about the hair dryer, how you blow it on your face, starting with low heat, so you can build up tolerance. You have to squirt water to squirt on your skin to keep that cool. You can keep your skin cool, but the thing you want to do is heat up these sinuses, which is where the virus lays, and it lays in your throat, which is why you drink the hot liquids, until it goes into your, to your lungs. So I don't know how that hurts the community guidelines, unless it's giving medical information, and they didn't say, I'm not a doctor, and I cannot advise you on what to do for your virus. So that I'm making that disclaimer, and um, I will put that in the description box as well. All right, with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you. Oh, wait, you got to see this shirt I made. Yeah. Someone gave me this. They gave me a big old sack full of clothes, and I took a few things, and the rest went to the thrift store. So this is like a tunic. It's really long, and it's nice and loose, and I... I painted on first I started with a butterfly and then I thought I, I don't know I don't know where to go from here and then I thought I know people need to wake up wake up and smell the coffee so I got coffee steaming up here see there I hope that looks like a cup of coffee so anyway that's my newest shirt and maybe I wear the other one I I took the orange one I wore it already 
Then I washed it and didn't put any fabric softener in it because that's what you're supposed to do. And I just put something on it, even though it's all decorated with store. You know, it was made that way with decorations already on it. I bought a few like that. Anyway, that's enough about designing shirts. You can make your own Christian statements with some fabric paint. It's not expensive. And you can take shirts that already have designs on them and take black, plain old black. You can buy a big old bottle of it. Just be careful. Practice on a paper plate first till you get the hang of it if you've never done it. Or you can buy a set of these um, fabric markers. They're different. You don't have to squeeze a tube. It's just like drawing on with a um, real skinny marker. And uh, so you have more control. And my letters come out clearer. The words are clearer. And not all puffy. Most of that fabric paint is puffy. But you can get it slick. It's not as dimensional. Anyway, with that I'll say uh, bye for now. And I pray this video goes up so y'all can have a little more advice on what you could do if you wanted to. Again, I am not a doctor. I cannot prescribe anything. And, and I cannot guarantee that this would work for the coronavirus. Okay, with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.